What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog. This is this is actually the end of our day. We are done for done with a very very long Sunday. Uh but we had a good Sunday and you know we just kind of thought we'd walk you guys through it and let you know what we did. It was a pretty typical Sunday for us. This is more like a su how Sundays were before we started vlogging. Yeah. You know, we just kind of hung out at the house. Um but yeah. So we started the day with french toast. Yep. I made some French toast. I used to make breakfast every single Sunday. I still do it on occasion, but not as often as I used to. Isaiah had to leave today. He had to go meet some friends uh, another side of town to make a video for school. It was a project that they're working on for Chinese class. And he had to make like a whole little mini skit of them talking in Chinese. Hey guys, so today we're in, I'm in Target right now, um, working on a school project with my group members. Um, it's a Chinese project, so we have to like pretend that we own a store and we are trying to sell things to each other so it's just it's basically a skit for a store so and we're working really hard today and everyone seems to be very very focused and not playing around at all i don't i don't know who i'm working with right now I, okay we're just gonna move on so he had fun with that it's cool to see him making videos it's kind of fun helping him edit and then they left the editing up to him which I was very much in, in <laughs> approval. Abby wasn't feeling great today. Um, she just kind of seen off a little bit. Maybe not feeling good 100% there so a little bit of napping happened today. Yeah. Lots and lots of rocking. Um, she just kind of hung out and you know, she wasn't feeling great so she pretty much the couch was her was her home today. And of course it is Sunday and the Jaguars play today so Priscilla watch the Jaguars. We watch the Jaguars game, but Priscilla really watches <laughs> Jaguars games. Oh my gosh! Woo! Holy crap. I cannot believe they did that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good! Just when you get excited. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Because we won. Right? We won! Woohoo! We're going to the Patriots! We're going to the Patriots! We're going to New England! <laughs> oh my goodness! I am so proud of them! Oh! Nobody thought we were going to win this game. He's going to cry. He's crying under his glasses right now. He's so excited. Wow! Look, they're crying. They're so excited. Why are you crying? Because I'm so excited. And of course, if you you know follow sports at all, then you know that the Jags won. They beat the Steelers today. Uh, very, very good win. Yes. Very, very, good win very for the Jags. good win. Uh, Priscilla saw on the news. We were actually getting ready to shoot this video, <laughs> as well as some pot spans and Priscilla videos, and uh, cook dinner and all that. And she saw on the news that they were having um, a rally, a welcome, welcome home party. Um, at the stadium. So she's like, can we go? So we jumped in the car, went to the stadium. night and um, I wanted to the whole idea for the day you know was to kind of do this kind of show you our day and then we were going to read some of your comments you know we get a lot of comments tons of comments and we read every one of them we still do every single one um, lots of lots of praise for how we handled things at the hockey game and we appreciate those comments so much guys it really means a lot to us we can think we're doing a good job or hope that we're doing a good job as parents but then you guys 
just, you know, affirm that for us and we appreciate that. And I don't want you guys to be upset with the security people. You right. know, you have to remember these people are hourly employees. They have a job. Mm -hmm. They've been given certain criteria and they're just following the rules. They they were we doing have their to job. Have, you have to have rules in place. Yeah. And, um, you know, we were able to get our situation fixed. They just couldn't find a supervisor at first, and that's why we had multiple people coming up. Right, because like, people, as soon as they saw the backpack, no backpacks, no backpacks. Yeah. But it wasn't like they went and got that person. She right. just happened to walk by. So we're I, I'm happy with how they handled mm -hmm. the situation. I am going to contact the company. That's a private security company. Uh, Safe is the company, and I'm I'm gonna contact them and just let them know, you know, our experience, and and if you know, of course, on a pause, you know, I'm gonna have a positive note of, right, you know, they did make that exception, and we appreciated that. So I think we just need to contact the right people and say, you know, this is this was our situation, and you guys might face this situation in the future. You definitely will, because we'll we'll certainly be going back to hockey games, um, you know, but maybe this is something you might want to implement in the training or in or in the in the guideline of rules, you know, so it's not, so that as parents, we don't have to stand there and say, she's not potty trained. Right. You know, about our 12 year old with everybody else in line. I know that was a lot of you guys is concerned is, you know, the, and we weren't embarrassed. I mean, we've been, you know, we've been handling, dealing, dealing with this stuff and handling it for, for 12 years now. But, um, but it, you know, we appreciate you guys sentiment and, your thoughts on it and just you guys saying attaboy and good job to us. We appreciate it. We really do. We do read all the comments. Some of the comments, some of the comments are funny. Some of them are a little bit off and we like to read those because we just have a good, and some of them are totally normal comments, but we take them way out of context and that's what, that's what makes it way more fun. <laughs> okay. The first one is from Holly Murphy and Holly said, who is that one person who disliked the video? And that's, that's right. <laughs> exactly. That's pretty much every video, though. I'm like, yeah. who, who could dislike this? We had so much fun that day. What is there not to like about it? <laughs> There's just if you if you dislike a video, email me and tell me why. You can email yeah, me. At least tell us why you tell don't like why. the video. Tell me why. Say, hey, this is why I don't like the video. You know, I just I don't know. I don't. I probably won't change anything. It probably won't make a difference. But I want to know. KT Hill said, "Well, now I have to know what's in that salad." Of my salad that yeah. you don't like? Yeah, because I don't Okay, like... you want to hear what's in my salads? Lettuce, onion, sometimes bell pepper. I always put cucumber always in. Always put cucumber. Cheese, croutons, and my salad always has tomato. And mine has mushrooms. I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't know why. There's nothing like, weird in it. there's nothing weird in my salad. That's nothing what I'm all. telling you. Yep. I've tried the bag salads. He's so picky. So, so picky. Sorry. You're weird. Sorry. Dana Grisco said Isaiah is one handsome guy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. Stop it. I might have to stay around longer if we're getting cool comments like this. <laughs> it's the only it's the only one I ha oh. I handpicked these comments. It's just one. That's not fair. <laughs> Rabbit said Alexa's just jealous of you, Scylla. True. She is. She must be. She's a hater. Of course she's I mean, isn't everybody? <laughs> no. You got me. Oh my goodness. Another one. They're just lining up. They're just lining up at the door. Lauren Crompton said, Hey, Abby be eating for days. <laughs> yes. yes, she does. She's got an insatiable appetite. What do you need, attention? <laughs> Nobody talked about how handsome you were? Aw, oh, he's so handsome. I didn't get one of those comments. Everybody says you're pretty though, Maverick. We do get a lot of comments on what kind of dog is he, and he's a flat-coated retriever and lab mix. Yep. He's a he's a pound puppy. Fuji Yoshi said loving Tech Tuesday. Thank you. You are the only one. <laughs> you guys hated that video. Loud and clear. That one got more dislikes per capita than any video we've made. And to it date. had less views. Less than... views. I just loud and clear. I won't be making any standalone Tech Tuesday videos. We will, I, you know, we're still gonna put some stuff in the vlogs and whatnot. Isaiah and I uh, collabing on that. That'll be a lot of fun because you know he's a fun guy. Won't be doing that again. Gotcha. Thank you, Fujiyoshi. I appreciate the support. <laughs> One of you. Becky Makeup said, who put a thumbs down? Again, <laughs> hit me up. Let's talk about it. Stephanie Veris Tewugi said, I'm, I murdered that, I know. Said, granny panties and white bras. 
I'm just gonna leave that there. No context. Really? Yep, makes it really weird. Leave it there, moving on. If you guys can figure out what video that was from, 10 points. Newbie Noob said, was he on the toilet while he was making this intro? That was from Abby's potty training video. And I did the intro for the video on the toilet. But you were, you had the lid. I mean, I was sitting on it. I was though. Right. You know, pants up. But lid closed. Yes, I was sitting on the toilet. I think I had the lid up. Don't make it weird. It's not comfortable to sit on a toilet with the lid down. Everybody knows that. You ever sit on a toilet with the lid down? It's not comfy. It's got a concave, convex hump thing going on. You're a strange person. Jordan Bachman said, who gave this a thumbs down? They need a hug. <laughs> That's what it is. You figured it out, Jordan. They just need hugs. <laughs> These thumbs down people. Maybe they just got, maybe they like fell asleep on their keyboard and clicked the wrong thing. Well, it's funny because there were, I think on one of my videos on Pots, Pans, and Priscilla, there were two thumbs down. And then I went back and it was only one. I was like, oh, good. Yeah, they didn't mean They were like, to. oh, I didn't mean it, so I'm sorry. Yeah. The last one is from Christine, the mommy. She said, I adore your wife. Your whole family is so strong and amazing, but I've got to say, your wife makes these vlogs. She's so sweet, always a smile, and such a great mommy. Beautiful inside and out. She has a glow to her. Great vlog. Thanks for sharing. Aw. That was so nice. But, but she doesn't make the vlogs. I make the vlogs. <laughs> That's why I can put this right here. That was so sweet. That was so sweet. What do you mean that I, you don't, I'm, what? I physically make the vlogs. You physically do? Again, that's why but I can put this right here. Obviously, I emotionally do. You emotionally make the vlog? Because <laughs> of the Aww. rampant excitement coming from you. That's right. Yeah. I'm so excited all you the time. You are all the time. Okay, guys, that is all the comments that we have, but I have one last thing for you. Pretty excited about this. We are teaming up with Vincentville. Uh, if you're not familiar with Vincentville, they are another YouTube family. They are another autism family. Um, I will leave a link for their channel at the end of this video, so make sure you watch the end. You can click on that link and subscribe to them as well, because they're going to be doing the announcement for this on their channel. But we are uh, teaming up with Vincentville. No, uh, not really teaming up. We're kind of. We're kind of against. We're kind them. of against Vincentville. This is a bit of a competition, folks. Um, yeah, so what we're doing, this is called AFC for ASD. Uh, we started a GoFundMe, and what we're going to be doing is raising money for our own nonprofit that we're supporting. Uh, Vincentville is doing their nonprofit that they are supporting. Uh, so we're going to be raising money. Uh, we're going to be putting the link up there for you guys to donate. Um, we're going to be sharing it on all social media, getting our friends and family to donate. We're going to donate. If you can donate a dollar, that's huge. You know, and anything above that, even better. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to donate whoever wins, whoever's team wins. Okay, I, I got to go back. Hold on. AFC, okay. AFC, you, the AFC championship game is going to be the Jaguars, our Jaguars. And My Jaguars. And Vincentville, they're up, they're up north somewhere. They're in Massachusetts. <laughs> so, so they have, uh, you know, they got the Patriots. They got, they have Tom Brady. Um, Wasn't that like Deflategate? Or? Deflategate and oh, there's so much controversy oh, around that team yeah. and just, uh, you know. What controversy do the Jaguars have? Um, they don't have any. Nothing. Have Duval! They, have they, have that's they ever our controversy. cheated? Have they ever cheated? No. Nope. No. Nope. That's why never we have a, that's why we're, we, this, we've never won. Right. Oh, <laughs> well that makes sense. Okay, so we've got the Jaguars, they've got the Pats, they've got the Patriots, and whosoever team wins in the AFC Championship game, uh, they get to take that money and donate it to their cause. Now both causes are um, autism and special needs related. Okay, so if the Jags win Sunday's game, then we're going to take the money that, that we brace together on GoFundMe and we're gonna donate that to the Tim Tebow Foundation. Now, if you guys saw uh, way, way back last year, we went to uh, Tim Tebow's Night to Shine. It is a special needs prom and it was it was kind of life-changing for, for us as a family. It was amazing to be able to help these people um, to, to buddy up with them and just kind of, uh, just, just let them have the night of their lives, you know, a, an opportunity for them to do things that they may not, may not have otherwise been able to do. You know, a lot of these people have, did not go 
to their high school prom or to formal yeah. dances or anything. So this is a, it's a straight up, like it's a highfalutin thing. It's really it cool. They have an environment, you know, they have sensory rooms and, and therapy dogs and uh, photo booths and dancing and music and lights and food and everything. It's just, it's so cool uh, for the participants and for the families. So um, that's what we're donating to. You know, that's something that we're going to be a part of forever and you know i know and, abigail's gonna yeah want to and get i was gonna on say it. abby abby's not old enough to go right now so right. we all volunteered asa isaiah and i all volunteered to be buddies and so the cool thing is is for jacksonville it started in jacksonville mm -hmm. and now we have nine churches that all team up together so it's actually held at the location we went to last night for the hockey game yeah and and Tim Tebow is from the area. Yep. Originally, good guy, just you know, major philanthropist. So that's that's what we chose. Okay, so over on Vincentville side, they are donating their money to the Doug Flutie Jr. Foundation for Autism. Doug Flutie Jr. Foundation for Autism does incredible things in the autism community. Uh, they make a major major impact. Um, I will let I will let Luke and family tell you more about that though. On, on their channel. So make sure you, again, hit that link at the end of this video. Um, I will leave a link for the GoFundMe down in the video description. So please, please go down there uh, and show your support. Like I said, $1 is amazing. It's a huge help. Yeah. So there's only going to be one winner for the football game, but it doesn't really matter. Right. Everybody's going to be a winner for this the is GoFundMe gonna, yeah, page. It's kind of one of those things. It's, like, it's a competition. We're going to be talking trash. We're going to have... You know, we're definitely going to have a video up, a collaboration video uh, during the game that's going to happen. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, only one team can win, but in this case, everybody wins. I'm excited. Me too. I'm just, I'm, I'm happy to know a Patriots fan so that we can watch him cry when he loses. <laughs> well, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, for the last 22 minutes that we sat here on the couch and talked to the camera and for the rest of the day as well It's kind of a weird way to do a vlog But we just wanted to sum up everything that we did today and kind of share it with you and uh, And how excited we are to be a part of giving back, you know, that's that's pretty cool This was I can't take credit for this. This was Luke's idea um, So yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked about it. Yeah. Yep really awesome we're gonna have fun with this one for sure and i'm proud of my jags for yeah. winning today to make this happen that's, that's we amazing. talked about it beforehand and we're like everybody if they everybody win. knew the patriots were going to the afc but nobody knew that the jags were right yet. here we are so yeah that's pretty exciting all right well i hope you guys have a great week i hope you had a happy monday and we will see you next time bye bye Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. I want to talk too much trash for uh, you. Uh, uh. Okay. I don't. I don't talk a lot of trash. No. I save it for after. After. Then we'll send him lots of memes. <laughs>